Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate a spirometry procedure to you and to start with I'd like to show you how we prepare for the test. So before the patient actually arrives there's a few things that you need to do. So firstly let me show you what I've done here. So I have taken my cloth and my antibacterial um, uh, solution here and I have cleaned the entire office. So every surface has been cleaned, um, my immediate surface, a working area, my keyboard, my mouse and very especially I have given a good clean to my spirometer and on this one I just need to clean the outside. I make sure that I don't ever kink the cord when I'm doing that so that I'm not damaging the equipment as I go. Here I prepare my sterilizing solution for my uh, bronchodilator test. So this is Milton. I just put a capful of the Milton into a liter of water and that's ready to take all my meter dose and uh, inhaler tubes and my spaces for later on. I have available here all my disposables. I've got my cleaned and sterilized nose clips. I've got unopened um, mouthpieces, I've got my, my calibration syringe connector and then I have available for the children um, some books and some coloring in and some blocks for in between the tests. What you'll also see here is that I have my weight scale which has been cleaned and I clean it for every patient. I have my stadiometer all ready to take a height and then importantly as well I have some water for the patient over here and some tissues should they be coughing. I also have my hand sanitizer which you can use at every opportunity and before the patient actually comes in I will make sure that I use a new mask each time. So I will use a new mask. So I'll have that ready to put on in a moment. I have my gloves ready as well. Okay, and I do have plastic aprons as well to put on when the child gets here. So that's um, how you prepare your environment. You can see that it's very light and very well ventilated so that we have these, some air flowing through and yet at the same time the environment is within the ranges that it needs to be for spirometry. So if you look at the weather meter here, this is my digital weather meter and you can see here that it's reading a temperature of 25.5 which is within the range of 17 to 35 degrees Celsius. My humidity is between 30 and 70 percent and the pressure is between one uh, 600 and 1100 hectopascals. So my environment is good for spirometry testing. Okay, I'm just about to call my patient in. So I'm going to put on some gloves and my mask. Ideally, you should also have a plastic apron um, and possibly some eyewear as well. There we go. Right, so I think I'm ready. Morning Zama, morning Shanti, how are you? Morning, we are fine. Welcome, come in, take Thank a seat. You. Take a seat. Good. Would you like to have some hand sanitizer? Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Thank you. If you don't mind just keeping your masks on for the duration and when you blow you can take your mask off, Shanti. Okay. Right, let's sit down together. So Shanti, have you ever had a spirometry test before? No. Okay, well there's nothing to worry about. My name is Lindsay and I'm going to be taking you through the test this morning. And uh, it doesn't hurt, so you don't need to worry about that. We're just going to do some breathing exercises on this little machine over here. All right, so before we do that, Shanti, I'd just like to get some information about you from you and your mom. Is that okay? Good. Okay, so we're going to start off by doing what we call a respiratory symptom questionnaire. So that's just a questionnaire that asks a few questions about Shanti's health. All right, so does Shanti usually cough when she has a cold? No, not usually, but sometimes it happens. Okay. Uh, does she usually bring up phlegm from her chest? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes, yes. okay. Has Shanti had any wheezing or whistling in her chest in the last 12 months? No. Nothing. Good. Is Shanti unable to walk um, due to any condition other than shortness of breath? No. Is Shanti ever too short of breath to leave the house? No. 
And she doesn't get short of breath when dressing or undressing? No. Okay. In the last six months, has Shanti's weight changed at all? She has gained Gained a little bit of weight? Yes. Okay. All right, good. But not excessive weight? No, not excessive. Good. Have, has Shanti in the last four weeks had any night sweats? No. Okay, so she, she doesn't wake up for anything in the night? No. Has any doctor or other healthcare provider ever told Shanti or you about Shanti that she suffers from any conditions, any post-infective conditions, any asthma? No. No, nothing like that. Okay. Has Shanti ever suffered from measles? Has she ever had measles? No. Whooping cough? No. TB? No. No. In general, how would you say Shanti's health is? Is it excellent, very good, good, fair, or poor? It's excellent. Thank you. Is Shanti able to do any kind of physical activity she wants, she wants to do? Yes, she is. Any strenuous activities like walking up a hill, carrying heavy things, can she do all of that usually? Yes, she can. Do. Okay. In the past four weeks, has she had any problem with her activities of daily living, going to school? No, no. Nothing. Okay. Is Shanti able to do sport at school? Yes, she is able to. Okay. And this, when she does sport, is she ever short of breath? No. All right, good. So now what we're going to do is just ask a few questions to make sure that it's safe for Shanti to blow? Yes. All right. Has Shanti ever had any injury to her chest or any operations in the last six weeks? No. Has she been admitted to hospital in the last six weeks? No. Has she coughed up blood in the last six weeks? No. Has she had any respiratory chest infections such as flu or pneumonia or bronchitis in the last three weeks? No. Has she used an inhaler in the last 24 hours? No. no. Has she taken any medication in the past 24 hours? No. Nothing. Has she got any pain? No. Shanti, are you in any pain today? No. Are you nauseous at all? You don't feel like you want to vomit? No diarrhea? You've got no diarrhea? You do have diarrhea? No diarrhea. Okay, good. All right, good. So now let's just make sure that there's no infection risk in terms of the testing. Um, has, Shanti, do you have a high temperature at all? No. no? Okay, have you got a sore throat? No. Have you got any shortness of breath? No. Difficulty breathing? No. Do you feel unusually weak? No. No? Are you struggling to taste food and drinks at all? No. Has your sense of smell changed? In the last 14 days, have you traveled to any COVID hotspots? No. Have you been in contact with anyone with COVID in the last 14 days? No. Have you um, attended any healthcare facility in the last 14 days? No. Okay, super. All right, good. So, I think we've covered all the questions that we need to make sure that it's safe for you to blow. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to set you up to come forward so that you can be with me. And we're going to start looking at doing the test itself. So would you like to just take a seat and take your shoes off for me, please, Shanti? We're going to start with taking your height and weight. Good, thank you very much. Okay, let's come over this side. Okay, would you like to... You got nothing in your pockets? No. Good, okay. Would you like to get on? 24.6, super. Thank you very much, good. Okay, let's go across this side and do your height. So let me record that, 24.6. All right, good. Super. Put your feet back against the wall. Good. Make yourself tall. No, not, not, yeah, keep your feet flat on the floor. Put your chin up. Good girl. Thank you. Now just move a little bit to the right. 
Right, take a deep breath in. Well done, good. Okay, 127.8. Thank you. Okay, you can take a seat and put your shoes on again. All right, so while Shanti's putting her shoes on, I'm going to start entering her details into the spirometer. All right, so we come to patience. We come to new. Okay, could you please give me, give me Shanti's date of birth? She was born on the 26th of May, 2011. Thank you. Your last name, please, Zama, or Shanti's last name. Baba? Okay. S H A N T E? Yes. Okay. Female? Ethnicity? Af yes. African? Okay. And how old are you, Shanti? I'm nine years old. Nine. Good. All right. And we said your height is 127.8. One, this software only takes it to the next uh, level, and this was 24.6. So let's make that 25. All right, Shanti, let me explain to you what we're going to do now. So this test is a very simple breathing exercise that you're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mouthpiece and I'm going to open it for you in front of you. You can see that. Okay, you hold it so that you can't touch anything. Put it into the device like that. All right, and this is going to be the machine that you're going to blow into. All right, so you can just hold that for the time being. All right, and then I'm going to give you a little nose clip. So what's going to happen is when we're ready to start the blow, we're actually going to, we're going to take your mask down and then you're going to be able to bite your teeth over this mouthpiece. So let's just start. Let me, you can take your mask off. Okay, so what you're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do it. This test is a test where you've got to take the very biggest breath in that you can. Bite your mouth onto this mouthpiece. So you see where those little lines are? Yeah. That's where your mouth bites onto this mouthpiece. Don't bite it too hard that it does that. Um, but just make sure that your teeth are just holding it over there. Okay? And then you close your lips around it. Okay? So that the nose air leaks out of your nose. At the same time, I'm going to ask you to put this nose clip on your nose. I'm just going to try it. Yes. Okay. So that's how that's going to feel. Okay? So before... Each blow, what we're going to do is put that onto your, onto your mouth. So just to show you what's going to happen, I'm going to show you. So what you're going to do is take a very deep breath in. You're going to bite your mouth onto here, and then you're going to blow the air out as fast as you can for as long as you can, right? And once you've finished breathing out all the way, you're going to breathe all the way back in again. Okay, so big breath in, bite, blast the air out as fast as you can, all the way till your lungs are empty, 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 and then you're going to take a big breath in again at the end. All right. Okay, can I show you how to do it? Yes. Okay, watch this. Okay. <sighs> Got it. Yes. Okay. It's not, it's, it's, it's not sore, and it's not difficult, but it takes a lot of effort. All right, let's give it a try. Right, just re-cleaning. Do you want to clean your hands a little bit before we start? Good, 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 good. Okay, Shanti, so we're going to, we're going to get started. All right, so what I'd like you to do is just to hold this for me. Can you just block each side of it with your hands? Good girl, yes, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to get started like that. Perfect. Right. Okay. So now, if you could stand up. So when you are doing the test, you're obviously positioning the patient that they're not blowing onto you or onto your equipment. All right. You ready? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is take a deep breath in, bite your teeth on, blast the air out for as long as you can, and then breathe in all the way at the top, at the end. Okay. Let's just get started again. Are you ready? Okay. Take a nice deep breath in. Okay. Go. Go. And breathe in all the way to the top. Breathe, 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 and stop. No. Okay. Don't. Okay. That's fine. Um. Well done. That was very nice. Now, when you get, take off your nose clips and just relax for a moment. 
Okay, I just want to show you that there was a little bit of hesitation at the start of your breath there. So when you breathe in, you mustn't wait for too long before you start to breathe out again. Okay, you must breathe out almost straight away once your lungs are empty. All right. Okay, so shall we give that one a try again? All right. Okay, all right. Take a nice deep breath in. Fast as you can, go. Go, 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 And breathe in fast and out your mouth. Out your mouth. There. That's it. Good. Well done. Very nice. Okay, the same thing at the top there. There was just a little bit of hesitation before you started to blow. Shame. You're right. You can take your nose clips off if you want. Do you want to see the monkey? Let's watch the monkey on the screen and see if see if she can give her baby a, a banana, okay? All right, nose clips on. Let's step back just a fraction. Step back just a little bit, that's it. Okay, you ready? Okay, big breath. Okay, fast as you can. Go, 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 and breathe in. Breathe in, 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 and take it off. Right, good, well done indeed. Okay, just rest for a moment now. Okay, that was a good one. Did you see the, the mommy gave the baby a banana? So now, if we can just take, take a seat, Shanti, take a seat. So if we look here, uh, what we can see on the screen is that the inspiratory portion of the curve was a lot bigger than the expiratory portion. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking at the FVC, which on this blow was 0.97, and I'm looking at the FIVC, which was 1.16, and it's outside of the repeatability criteria. Shanti is nine years old, so what I'm seeing is that she did not breathe into total lung capacity before she blew. So, so what that's telling me, Shanti, is that your lungs weren't as full as they could be before you started to blow. So I want you to make sure that your lungs are full, 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 full before you blast the air out. Okay, good. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, your fastest breath, all the way to the top. In your mouth, go. Go, 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 go. It's a good one. Keep pushing, push, 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 and breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and take it out your mouth and rest. Very nice, good. That one was excellent. Take a break, sit down for a moment. Let's have a look. Okay, so, so, so what happened on this one, Shanti, this one is good, but on the in, when you breathed in again to the top, you took a little extra breath. Okay, so we don't want you to do that. You just need to breathe once out and once in. Okay, but you're doing a really good job. All right, let's give it another try. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. Have you had enough rest? Yes. Good. We're nearly done, and then we're going to go on. Okay, are you ready? All right, take a deep breath in. Fast as you can, fill your lungs. And breathe in all the way to the top, 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 and out your mouth. Excellent, well done. Okay, and you can take a break again. Take a seat, take your nose clips off. All right, let's see how that one is looking. I see you got the banana, well done. Do you like the monkeys? Do you want to try the cake just now? Good. Okay, so that was much better. Let's see. Okay, let's just say no incentive and let's see what we've got here. So, trial two, we've got a hesitation at the start of the blow. Trial three is not too total incapacity. Trial four, not too bad. Trial five, for some reason hasn't read the inspiratory portion. If IVC, there it is, 128. Two, one, two, four. This is looking much, much better. So the one that you've just done is, is almost perfect. So if you could do another two like that, then we will be finished. Okay, good. All right, let's, let's get started. That's it. Good. You can stand up. All right, nice big breath then. Fast as you can. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, okay, just wait with that one. Your mouth was open at the side when you started to blow. So let's, let's not keep this one. Uh, let's cancel that one. Do you want the cake or the monkey? The cake. 
or the balloon. The cake. Let's do the candles. You've had your birthday, hey? So the next one, you're going to be 10. So how many candles have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's see if you can blow out 9 candles. Wait, wait, wait. Just hold on a second. All right. Okay, let's start again. You ready? Okay, big one. And fast. <laughs> and breathe in to the top, 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 top. Good. And rest. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's have a look at that one. Take a seat. Just take a break. So this one is falling fractionally to the right. So what I would do is definitely look at my back extrapolated volume and my peak expiratory flow time, both which are within the allowed ranges. So now I'm looking at my forced inspiratory vital capacity against my forced vital capacity, and that is looking very, very nice. So let's look at the report that we have to date. So what I'm doing is I'm checking acceptability and repeatability as I go along. So let's see what we've got. So what I'm seeing at the moment is that I've got two reasonable blows, okay? Uh, the third blow is not as good as what I would want it to be. You can see that she didn't breathe into total lung capacity and that she's got a little hesitation on that one. So I've got two good blows and I need to get one more good blow. I'm looking at my forced inspiratory vital capacity against my forced vital capacity. There's very little difference in the best one here. There's only 10 moles, which is great. And in trial five, there's only 40 moles difference between the FIVC and the FVC. So far, I've got two blows that I can use and I'm looking for one more blow that I can use. Okay, just rest for, let's turn it around. Okay, so you know what to do. Do you want, what do you want to see? Do you want the, shall we try the balloon? Yeah. Okay, that's a really nice one. You'll love this one. Okay, ready? Okay, nice deep breath in. All the way as fast as you can. Big, 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 and and breathe in all the way to the top and rest. Take it out your mouth. Good. Well done. Excellent. You got it. Did you see that? You burst the balloon. Well done. Okay, let's see how that one looks. Okay, there was just a little hesitation again at the start of the test and towards the end of the test again. I'm going to delete that one. All right. All right. Okay. Let's take a deep breath in all the way to the top, fast as you can, into the top and and breathe in, 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 in. Take it out your mouth. Good. Well done. Excellent. 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 Okay. So let's have a look at that blow. Yes, that's the one. So well done. We've conducted nine trials and we've got our three blows that we need. So I'm really, really happy with that. Well done. Let's look at the report together. So what we need to see here then, first thing we do before we, we finish the testing session is we want to see that we have three acceptable blows. Now I'm very happy with the start of the blows. I'm very happy with the rises. I'm worried that they're falling a little bit to the right. So at this point, I would check my peak expiratory flow time. All of them are within the allowed um, time limit. So it means she did blow fast enough. I'm looking at the peaks. They're pretty reasonable, not too bad. Downward curves are nice and smooth and continuous. Um, slight difference in the forced vital capacities. I come up and I check for repeatability. And we definitely do have repeatability on this test. I look for repeatability on the FEV1. On the FEC, the difference is 100 mils from the highest, which is 1.34 in trial 7, to the next highest, which is 1.24 in trial 5. That's 100 mils. And then on the FEV1, highest is 1.23 in trial 7, and the next highest is 1.18 in trial 5. That's 50 mils. So there's definitely, there, we have three acceptable and two repeatable blows. We have a quality grade B, and I'm happy to... I'm happy to um, finalize this. Well, I'm just wondering, maybe I should try one more to see if we can get it to a quality grade A. Let me try one more blow. Are you prepared to do one more blow, Shanti? Good. Okay, let's give it a bash. Let's try one more test. Okay, turn it around. 
Okay, your fastest, biggest breath into the top, fast as you can, in your mouth. And breathe in, 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 out your mouth before you breathe. Excellent, well done. Okay, great job. Very, very nice. All right, let's see if we got to a quality grade A. Yes, we did. Congratulations, well done. Very happy with you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to give you a little bit of medication just to see if we can open the airways in your lungs. Is that okay with you? You all right with that, Zama? Yes. Yeah, all right, so let's, let's get that medication and let's, let's have a look. Okay, so we now need to... Okay, so what I'm doing here now is I'm getting my bronchodilator. I'm getting my meter dose inhaler spacer device, which has been sterilized previously. And what I'm going to do now is administer a bronchodilator. Right, so you see this is a little see-through device. What I'm going to do is clean. What we're going to do is you can shake that for me, please. For, shake it as hard as you can. Shake, 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 shake. Good. Okay, put it in here this way. Turn it around. Yes. That's it. Okay, put it in there. Right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to press this four times. You can use two hands if you want. That's it. Hard. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm priming this device. Um, it's been sterilized, and every time we wash it, we prime it first so that you put a little bit of medication in and it sticks to the inside walls. Otherwise, some of the medication may be lost um, when you're doing the actual test itself. Okay, so now I'm going to actually administer the bronchodilator. So what I need to do now is, Shanti, I'm going to give you four, four puffs of this medication. Okay, um, what we're going to do is always shake it before we use it. I'm going to put it into here. I'm going to ask you to breathe out. I'm going to put it in your mouth and I'm going to press it and you're going to suck it in. Can you do that? Okay. Right, let's do the first one. So shake it up. Okay. Breathe out. Okay, press and suck. Oh, wait. Put your teeth right over it. Okay, breathe out again. Okay, put it in your mouth. Now breathe in hard. All the way. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Suck it in. Okay, now hold your breath. One, we're going to count to 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Breathe in and out into the device five times. Big ones. That's it. Big ones. Two. Big one. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Hold on a second. So now we wait about 30 seconds and then I'm going to give you another one. How are you feeling? So this medication can sometimes make you feel like your heart is beating a little bit faster than usual. Um, it doesn't last for long, okay? It should wear off within half an hour or an hour or so. So not everybody feels like that, but you may feel like that. Shanti, is that okay? Good. Good. You're doing so well. Can't believe this is your first test and you can do it so well as you have been doing. All right. Okay. So we've waited 30 seconds. Let's do another one. So you know what to do. Breathe out and then you suck it in as hard as you can. Don't breathe in through your nose. Hey? Suck it in through your mouth. Okay, breathe out. Okay, now a nice deep breath in. Okay, hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out five times. Two, three, four, five. Okay, rest. Rest for a moment. Good, very good. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Okay, so we've done two. Okay, so we wait 30 seconds. Okay, you can breathe out. Okay, now take a nice deep breath in. Okay, hold, yeah. Okay, breathe in again. Okay, hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Well done. Okay. So that's three. So what we're going to do is when you've taken the last one now, 
we're going to wait for about 20 minutes and then we're going to test you again. And we're going to see if this medication made any difference to your airways. Okay, good. Okay, we've waited 30 seconds. Let's do our last one. Breathe out. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. And you can relax. Shanti, well done, my girl. You've done such a good job. Such a good job. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my used uh, pieces into the sterilant. Like that. All right, and I'm going to take my gloves off. Let me, let me give you a, would you like to color while we wait? Would you like to do some coloring in or read a book? Or would you like to play with the blocks and build a castle? Would you like to do the blocks? Okay, come and, come, and, come, and, come and sit here for a moment. Let's take your chair with us. And just, you can relax here and you can, you can play for 20 minutes. Okay, well done, my girl. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is wait 20 minutes for the medication to take effect. Um, Shanti will just relax with, um, and play for a while. And then after 20 minutes, I will bring her back and I will do the bronchodilator test. Now what I'm going to do is set the timer for 20 minutes um, just to make sure that I don't lose track of time when doing the bronchodilator test. So I've set it for 20 minutes. Um, Shanti is now playing for 20 minutes and I'll call her back as soon as we count down um, and then we'll do the bronchodilator test on her. All right, good. So 20 minutes has passed and I'm now going to bring Shanti back to do her post bronchodilator test. Hi everyone, so I'm just about to call my next patient in. Um, normally I would be wearing a mask um, and some gloves and an apron and some eyewear, but in terms of filming this as a demonstration, it's difficult um, for the camera and for you guys if you can't see my mouth. So for this one, we're going to do it without the PPE, um, but just remember that when you're testing in the field, you need to have your full personal protective equipment in place. All right, okay, so let's welcome the patient in. Welcome, come in and take a seat. Okay, thank you. Take a seat over there. Good. Okay, so you've been referred today for a lung function test, yes. um, a spirometry test. Yes. So Riley, I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm the person who's gonna help you with the test. So we're going to work together, you and me, to make sure that we get a really good blow from you so that we can measure how your lungs are functioning. All right. So before we start, um, I'm just going to take you through a few questions. And then after that, we're going to measure your weight and your height. And after that, we'll bring you closer and you'll be blowing into this little machine here. So the test doesn't hurt. There's nothing to be frightened of here. Um, you and I are going to, to do it together. All right. Okay, Riley. So before we begin, I'm just going to ask you and your mom a few questions um, about your health. Um, and then we'll know that it's safe for you to blow into the machine. Is that okay? All right, so how old are you, Riley? Six. Six. Are you in grade one or grade R? Grade one. Grade one already. Mm, learning to read and write. Very good. Okay. All right, so let's just take you through a few questions. Does Riley cough when he doesn't have a cold? No. No. Does he bring up phlegm from his chest? No. He doesn't have phlegm. Does he have any whistling or wheezling at no, times? No, no. And at night? No. No. Okay. Is Riley able to do all the activities that he normally does? Is he able to run and play? Can you play at school, Riley, with your friends? You never have to sit out because your chest is tight or you're short of breath? You can run and play as you want to? Okay, good. All right. Have you lost it? Has, has his weight changed significantly in the last six months? No. No. Okay. Um, have you, does he have any night sweats? No. No. Okay. All right. Has any healthcare provider ever told you that Riley has asthma? No. No. Okay. Have you suffered from any of the following issues? Measles? No. Whooping cough? No, asthma? No. No, okay, thank you. And he's never had TB? No. Okay, good. 
Um, in general, would you say Riley's health is excellent or good or very good, fair? I would say good. Very good. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Um, Riley, can you say you can run around as you want to with your friends? You can run up hills, you can run up staircases. Okay, good. All right. Does he eat uh, normal meals? Does yes, he eat? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. During the past four weeks, has he had to miss school for any illnesses? No. He's had no illness in the no, past four weeks. He hasn't been hospitalized in the last four weeks? No. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Good. So now what we're going to do is just do a questionnaire um, to make sure that it's safe for him to go onto the machine. Okay. okay. So um, has he had any injury to his chest or any operations in the last six weeks? No. Yes. No. He hasn't been admitted to hospital. Has he coughed up any blood no. in the last six weeks? No. Has he had any chest infections, flu, pneumonia, bronch bronchitis in the last three weeks? No. no. Okay. Has he used an inhaler, an inhaler in the last 24 hours? No. Any, any other medication in the last 24 hours? No. 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 Okay. Has he got, uh, Riley, have you got any pain today? Have you got any pain in your body? No pain in your chest? Your head? Nothing. Good. Excellent. And you don't have any vomiting or diarrhea today? Good. Okay. Excellent. All right. And then just in terms of um, uh, screening for infection, um, do you have a temperature today? No? I think we checked your temperature on the way in. Do you have a sore throat? No? Any shortness of breath? No? Do you feel weak at all? No? Good. Do you, can you taste your food and drinks normally? Good. Has, has you, can you smell everything that you used to be able to smell? Good. Okay. Um, have you traveled to, any, to a COVID hotspot in the last 14 days? You haven't been to the hospital in the last 14 days? Been in contact with anybody with COVID in the last 14 days? No. All right, good. It's sounding like you're ready to go onto the machine, Riley. So, so let's just take a few moments now to explain to you what this test is about. So really, this is just a breathing exercise onto this little device. So you're going to hold this device in your hands. And, and really, it's about measuring how big your lungs are and how the air is flowing out of your lungs. Okay. So to measure that, what we have to do is ask you to take a very deep breath in and then to put your mouth onto a mouthpiece, and I'm gonna show you, here's, here's the mouthpiece. Do you wanna hold it? Do you wanna feel it? Okay, so that's gonna be your mouthpiece. And let me show you how to do it using my mouthpiece. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a very big breath in. You're going to bite your teeth onto these little lines over here. You're gonna keep your mouth closed across like this, and then you're going to blast the air out as fast as you can, for as long as you can, you keep your mouth on the machine and you breathe in all the way at the end. All right. Okay. Can I show you how to do it? All right. So you take a deep breath in. So let's just, what we're going to do is use some of these nose clips here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put a nose clip onto my nose so the air doesn't leak out of my nose. Go to take a deep breath. <sighs> Bite. <coughs> Think you can do that excellent all right good okay so let's get you a little chair okay you can come and take a seat over here for a moment okay you can put your mouthpiece down over here could you do you mind just taking your shoes off for me please and we're going to take your height and weight first all right so Riley before we start doing the test I just need to measure your weight and your height okay so come let's go to the scale come the side all right, do you mind just getting onto the scale for me? 19.9, good. Okay, and let's go over here. Okay, Riley, just go a little bit this way. Okay, put your feet flat against the wall. Flat, yes, and make your head good boy. Okay, so make yourself tall. I mean, to take a deep breath in. Okay, and relax. Okay, rest, you can breathe, breathe. You can breathe, that's it. 
Okay, so he measures at 15, 115.6. One, okay, 115 centimeters, 0.6. All right, you can take a seat and put your shoes on. Okay, Riley, so um, can you just, you're six years old. Do you know what date you were, bo you were born? Do you know your date of birth? Mom? She was, uh, he was born on the 6th of April, 2014. 2014, yes. thank you very much. All right, so let's put your details onto the machine, okay? Six. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, Riley. So, are you ready to get started? All right. So, what I'm going to do is just show you your new mouthpiece. We're going to open it especially for you. Hold it like that. Put it into the machine like that. Okay? So that's for you. All right? Let's get you a new nose clip. Okay? So this is a clip that's going to just go onto your nose like that. How does that feel? Okay? All right. So you can hold this. All right? Okay, Riley, so what I'm going to ask you to do is before we start the test, you just need to block it with both of your hands. Let me hold your nose clip for you. Okay, yeah, block it like that. And let's get ready. So we're setting the baseline, avoiding the flow. All right, so, okay, you can hold it now. Okay, can you stand up for me? All right, so when you blow, what you're going to do is you can watch here on the screen, and I'm going to give you a little boy with a balloon to blow out, okay? So, you see that little boy? He's going to get a balloon and the harder and the faster you blow, the more the balloon will blow up and if you get it right, it'll eventually burst. Okay, the balloon. So what you're going to do is take a deep breath in, bite your teeth onto the machine and you're going to blow the air out as fast as you can and then breathe all the way in again at the end. All right, let's put this nose clip on you. Okay, and you're going to turn to face a little bit this way. Okay, and a little bit there. All right, are you ready? Okay, Riley, let's go. Okay, take a deep breath in. Fast. Go, 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 there's just a few things we need to do differently, Riley. So, so when you blow, you need to blow out very, very fast. So you see, this is your blow out here. Can you see that? We want this one to go straight up. And that happens when you blow very, very fast at the beginning of the test. Then the other thing is when you're breathing in, you need to keep your lips tightly closed onto the machine. Okay. See, look, it's telling us here, please blow out faster. All right. Okay, so let's give it another try. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put this on. Okay, are you ready? Big one. Go. Go. Blah, 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 And breathe in. And rest. Okay, take it out your mouth. Just rest for a moment. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Okay. Right. Let's see what this one shows us. Okay. So if you look at this one, Again, you did a really, really good job there. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, we just need you to breathe a little bit, a little bit faster in the beginning. You did well. This is really very good. But again, keep your mouth on the machine when you breathe in at the end. Okay. All right. It's looking really nice. Okay. So when you blow, I just want you to make sure that you blow that way. All right. Don't blow towards the machine. Just blow in the other direction. All right. Let's put your nose clips on. Okay, a big breath in, fast as you can. Go, 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 and breathe in, 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 and rest. Okay, take it out. Well done. Good. Very good. Okay, so what? That was a very nice blow. Very tall and strong. Can you see that? I'm happy with that. I think we just need to make sure that you breathe in completely to fill your lungs at the end. So what I want to make sure is that your lungs are very, very full before you start. 
Okay, so make sure your lungs are full, 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 full before you blast the air out. Okay. All right. All right, let's give you, do you want to try the monkeys? Hmm? So on this one, let me just show you, that mommy monkey will go and grab a banana over there and give it to her baby monkey if you blow fast enough. Okay, let's try and see if you can get the mommy to give the baby a banana. Okay, nice big one, big, fast as you can, go. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, stop, stop my boy. Okay, stop. Okay, that one was a little bit too slow. Okay, did you feel, so you were blowing, but you blew, what we want is like that. Okay, so we want you to blow as fast as you can. Let's cancel that one. Okay, just rest a moment. Okay, are you ready? Okay, big one, big. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, well done. Okay, you did one, but, but the thing is you can't do the extra breath. Okay, so you did very, very well on your first breath there. Um, but we, we, you can only blow once. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's, that was pretty good. Okay, it only kept the one blow, so that's a good thing. Um, what we need you to do is make sure you breathe in at the end properly. Can you do that? Okay, let's go. Let's just turn a little bit this way. Okay, how are you feeling? All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me give you. What do you want? The monkey? Or do you want the cake? Cake. Okay. The cake. All right. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Your best shot. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Fast as you can. And breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Good. And relax. That one was good. Give me five. Good. Well done. Beautiful. Did you see that? You got all the candles out. Excellent, my boy. Look at look how nice that one is. Okay, now what I want to show you is can you see the difference there, that little difference there? So this one is when you breathe out, and this one is when you breathe in again. You see that little difference? It just shows that us that your lungs were not totally, totally full before you began to blow. So the important thing that we're going to concentrate on in the next blow is that you breathe in to fill your lungs to the top, 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 and then blow. Got it? Good. All right, let's try again. Are you rested? Are you feeling okay? Good. Okay, just, just hold on a second. Okay, just wait here. All right, okay. You ready? Okay, take a deep breath. Fast as you can. Breathe in. Wow, you are getting so good at this. Well done. Really happy with that one. That was a really perfect one. Okay, so let's see. Now what I'm going to do is look at each one of them one by one. I'm really, that one was really very good. Okay, let's look at these one by one. Okay, yes, that one was nice. We've still got a little gap. So we want to make sure your lungs are full, full, full before you blow. But so far it's looking great. We've done six blows. Are you able to do another couple for me? You're not feeling too tired? Okay, good. Good. For a first try, you're doing a great job. Do you want to, do you want to try, which one do you want? Do you want the monkeys or the balloons or the cake? Which one would you like? Balloon. Balloon, okay. All right. Okay, are you feeling ready? All right. Wait, 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 my boy, wait, relax, rest. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. All right, are you ready? Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Fast as you can. <laughs> and breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And relax. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yep, that one wasn't bad at all. All right, so let me see what we've got. You burst the balloon there. Your lungs are looking good. Okay, so you see we've got a little bit too much variability in our tests. All right, are you ready to do one more? Okay, take a deep breath in, into your mouth, and and breathe in, breathe in fast, 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 
and rest. Well done. Good boy. Okay, do you want to take a seat on your little chair here? There you go, sit down for a moment. Right, I'm just having a look at what we've got. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking through each test individually to see which ones we can keep and which ones we need to discard um, to make sure that we've got absolutely perfect, acceptable and repeatable tests. So in terms of acceptability, I've got two that are good, one that is less good. Um, and they are repeatable, but I'm not so happy with the one blow. So I'm going to keep testing. All right, Riley, do you want to have the cake or the monkeys or the balloons? Balloons. balloons. You love the balloon. Okay, right. Stand up for me. Let's make this your biggest and your best one. All right. Let's just go back a little bit. All right. Are you ready? Okay, big one. Fast as you can. Go, 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 go,
Good boy. One, two, three. Another one. Big ones. Good. Okay, just rest now. Okay, so far so good. Do you need some water? You feeling all right? Okay. All right, so we've waited 30 seconds. Okay, let's do another one. Remember, I shake it every time before I use it. Okay, are you ready? Which one do you want to do? Do you want to hold your breath? You know how to do it because you're big. Good. Okay, breathe out. Okay, now big one. Big breath. Go. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breaths in and out. One, two, good. Three, four. Good. Okay, just rest. Okay, so the Muti might make you feel a little bit different. It may or may not. To some people, it makes them feel maybe a little bit shaky. Um, sometimes your heart beats a little bit faster, but it doesn't happen to everybody. And if it happens to you, it won't last long. Just maybe half an hour or so. Okay, is it all right? Okay, last one. You ready? Shake, shake, shake. Do you want to shake? Shake it for me. Good. Okay, let's put it in. Do you want to try? Do you think your fingers are strong enough? Do you want to try? Okay, I'll help you. Put your, so put your thumbs on top, both of them. Okay, I'm good. How does it feel? All right. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, breathe out. Okay. Big one? No, no, only one. That's fine. Okay, take your hands off. Okay, big breaths. In and out. Okay, well done, my boy. Very nice. Okay, good job. So now what I'm going to do is just put this um, in the sterilizing solution. Uh, we'll wipe that down before we throw it away, and we're good to go. So let me wipe this before I put it away. Okay. Right, so Riley, what's going to happen now is we're going to wait 20 minutes or so. So can you press this button 20 times? Okay, so we're setting the timer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop and press here, start. Good. Okay, so can you see that's counting down? So for 20 minutes now, you can, you can take a seat over here and you can play with the blocks or you can color in or you can play, play over here. Do you want the blocks? Hmm? All right, here you go. There you go. You can build a castle. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Okay, so Riley did very well. Now we're going to wait 20 minutes while the bronchodilator takes effect. And then we are going to do his post bronchodilator spirometry. Good. So it's been 20 minutes since Shanti's test and we are now going to do the post bronchodilator spirometry reading. So Shanti's back and we are ready to go. Shanti, how are you feeling? Good. You okay? You don't feel too shaky? No. Everything's good. So you're ready to do the test. Okay. Can you take your mask off, please? Let's do some... Okay, so I've changed my gloves in between. I've cleaned my room after my last patient. And we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is go back into the software of the machine. And I'm going to do a post bronchodilator test now. So I go to add post. Right. Okay, so let's put your, let's put your piece back in here like that. All right, that's yours. And here's your nose clips. You can just hold those. All right, Shanti. Okay, so to start with, before you, let me hold that for you. Okay, can you block it, please, so that we can set the zero flow? All right, good. All right, are we ready? Okay, so you know what to do. Right, can you stand up for me? I'm going to move your chair back a little bit. Move back a fraction. Right, okay, let's put your nose clips on. All right, and are you ready? 
Okay, take a deep breath in. Fast as you can. Go and breathe in. In, 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 and rest. Good. Well done. Okay. Do you need to blow your nose at all? Yeah. All right. Okay, not too bad. Um, at the, you can see it's a little bit rounded there. Okay, just move a little bit this way. Okay, come this, come, come look here. So, so you see how round it is there at the top. You need to blow a little bit faster on your next blow. Okay, let's give that a try. So what do you want? Do you want the balloons, the monkey, the cake? The cake. The cake. You love the cake. Good. All right. Are you, let's put your nose clips on. Are you ready? Yes. All right, big breath in. Fast as you can, in your mouth. And breathe in deeply. In, 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 in. And rest. Good. Okay. Not too bad. Also, still a little bit slow. So if you look at this, both of these um, ones didn't, didn't work too well because they were a little bit slow at the beginning. I think you need to just blow your nose, my, my girl. Just take a tissue. Try and breathe in through your mouth, and then you're going to blow. Okay, big one, big, 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 big. Big breath in, 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 and relax. Good. Okay. Hmm. You see how it's falling a little bit to the right like that. Um, not blowing fast enough in the beginning. You've got to literally blast the air out of your lungs. Okay. You feeling okay? You like the cake still? Yes. Good. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, big breath in. Fast as you can. <laughs> Breathe in. In, 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 in. And rest. Good. Okay, that one was better. Okay, that one was, was a little better, definitely. Yeah, that one I'm... Happier with. All right, do you need a rest? You feeling okay? Not short of breath? All right, what do you want to try this time? Uh, Balloon. Monkey. monkey. Okay, let's try the monkey. Hold on a sec. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Fast as you can. And breathe in fast, 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 fast to the top. Relax. Okay, we've got the same problem, Shanti. It's it's round. So it's it's like I can see how hard you're blowing, but it it's that initial burst. Okay, it's that initial, yeah. Okay, we're doing the monkeys. All right, take a big breath in, fast as you can. Go! That's better. Go, 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 all right, how are you feeling? All right. Do you want the monkey? Cake? Balloon. Let's do the balloon. Okay, ready? Big. Big, 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 big. And breathe in, 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 in. And rest. Okay, good. So Shanti, what's going wrong is when you're breathing in, I don't think it's a clear breath in. What's happening with you is you're going, so it's not clear. What, when you breathe in, what you want to do is take a, can you hear the air rushing into my lungs? Okay, that will make your lungs very full of air and then you'll be ready to blow. All right. Okay, and when you, when you put your, your mouth on, don't put your mouth so far. Put your mouth only between those lines. Bite, bite your teeth on those lines of the mouthpiece. Okay. Okay. Are you feeling all right? Okay. Your biggest one. And <laughs> and breathe in. And take it out your mouth. That was much better. Well done. Yes. Yes. That one is good. So now we've got two really good ones that are practically identical. I'm very happy with that one. That was a good job. Okay. So 
We've got two that are good. How are you feeling? All right. Nearly finished, my girl. You've done so well. Okay. Last one, hey? Okay, fast as you can. And boom! Go, go, go. Okay, wait, wait. That one wasn't good. Let's just stop that one. So if the child um, has a slow start or a hesitation, try not to waste their energy. You can always cancel that blow um, and, and then you can start again. All right, so that one wasn't, wasn't a good one. We just need one more really good test and then we can call, call this test complete. Okay, yes. right, your last one, biggest one. Smooth breath in, in your mouth. <gasps> no, stop. Okay, stop, take it out your mouth. Okay, that one, when you blew, you went. <sighs> we don't want that, we want. <gasps> Do you see the difference? Good. Okay, let's cancel that one. Okay, rest a minute. Are you okay? Yes. All right. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. As fast as you can. And breathe in. Okay, just just rest for a moment, my girl. Just rest. So I can see. Okay, take it. Take a break. I think you're getting tired now. Hey, you're getting. Are you feeling tired? A little bit. Yeah. So, so what I can see on the blowing here is that Shanti is getting tired and she's done so, so well. Um, and we do have two very good tests. Um, but I would like to just record at least one more good blow before we finish the testing session. All right. Okay, so just take a few moments, okay? We've done, done them quite fast, so just, just rest for a moment. All right, so your biggest, biggest breath in and fast. That's better. Go, 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 and breathe in, 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 and rest. Well done. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay, sit down and relax. Let me look through the tests now. So I'll just look at them one by one to see, see what we're looking at. Okay, so, so all of these have failed on the back extrapolated volume and the peak expiratory flow time. But we do have, we do have three very good blow. Well, two very good blows. Um, just having a quick look. So what I'm doing is assessing the acceptability and repeatability of the test before we conclude. And we've done twelve trials, and I think that we we've only got two really really good ones on the post. But I think um, considering the results, which are all normal, this is a normal spirometry test, I think that we can conclude this test. So Shanti, well done. We finished the test now. You did such a good job. Really, for someone who's blown for the very first time, I'm just so proud of you and what you've done. So can you please now take this mouthpiece out? Just pull it straight. That's it. Throw it into the waste bin over there. Thank you. Um, you can throw your nose clips in there as well, and if you can just wash your hands, okay, and then you can put your mask on again. And what we're going to do now is print out your results, show them to, to the doctor, and you can just take a seat outside and he'll call you in to discuss the results with you. All right, so I'd like to give you a sweetie. Mom, can I give her a sweetie? You don't mind? Okay. Would you like to choose a, a marshmallow? There you go. What color do you like? Purple. Okay, good, good. All right. Okay, Shanti. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to print out your results. I'm going to give them to the doctor and um, you can wait in the next room and then we'll come and speak to you from there. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so we are ready for Riley's test. We've put his mouthpiece in. Now what I'm going to do is add a bacterial filter to that circuit. So, okay, so because of the, the aerialized particles that can go into the environment, I am just setting it up so that the operator is protected and anyone else who is in the environment. So for this one, we are going to, you can add a filter, even though this is an ultrasonic system. So rather than having the filter on the front, um, the filter is here at the back.
So what we're going to do now is we're going to do Riley's post bronchodilator test. How are you feeling, Riley? Fine. Okay, no issues? Excellent. Right. So I'm going to call up your name again and let's add a test to this. So I'm checking the weather conditions in the room before I start, making the correct BTPS correction. And right, we're ready to go. So can you just put your mouthpiece, I mean your nose clips, put them on the table over here and put your little man down on the table. Good. Okay, so there you go. So what we're going to do now is can you just close it with your fingers on both sides? That's it. So we're setting the zero flow. Okay, we're ready. All right, okay, so what I want you to do, please, is stand up, Riley. Okay, and I want you to put your, can I put your nose clips on your nose for you? All right, so you know what to do, hey? You're gonna take your biggest breath in and you're gonna blast the air out as fast as you can. All right, take a deep breath in. In your mouth and And breathe in, 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 and relax. Very good. Excellent. Okay, take your nose clips off. Okay, you see that little difference there? It means that you've got to make sure your lungs are full, 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 full before you start to blow. Okay, so make go like this. And then blow. So your lungs must be very full before you start to blow. All right. Okay, you can put your nose clips on. Okay, big one. Fast as you can. Go and breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Okay, good and relax. That one was very good. Well done. That was beautiful. Okay, take your nose clips off. Good. Okay, just rest for a moment. Okay, can we do another one? Radio. Okay, you can stand. Good boy. Well done. Okay, you ready? In your mouth. And and breathe in 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 and relax. Okay, take your mouth. That's it. Take your nose clips off. Rest for a moment. Take a seat. Good. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, Riley. It was probably a little bit slower than your others. Um, and and as you were breathing, and you just opened your mouth a little bit. So remember to keep your mouth tightly sealed throughout the test. Good. Okay, just sit for a moment and tell me how you're feeling. Beautiful. Feeling all right. Ready to do another one? All right, good. Okay. Okay, take a deep breath in. Fast as you can. Go, 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 go. It's very good. Go, 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 go. And breathe in fast. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And rest. That one was beautiful. Really, really well done. You see, you've got a quality grade A test. So we've actually finished with the test. You did very, very well. I'm very happy with the results. So if we could just finish here, and then what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to ask you to take a seat outside, and then we're going to print your results, give it to the doctor, and the doctor will come and speak to you shortly. All right. Mom, can I give your son a sweetie? Okay, good. All right, you can put your... Can you please just stop? Okay, let me hold this for you. Can you just take this off, please? Just pull hard. Pull hard. Let's, let me help you. There. Whoops. Okay. You can throw that into the dustbin there. Yeah, you can throw it. Good. And then you can take your mouthpiece out. Just pull it out. Good. And you can throw it into the dustbin there. Thank you very much. And your nose clips, you can throw into the dustbin. Good, let's wash our hands. All right, good, and let me wipe down, let me wipe down the machine. All right, and come, let's give you a sweetie. What color do you like? Blue. Yes, blue for a boy. Okay, Riley, thank you very much, Summer. All right, please take a seat outside.